To find the mosque, follow these signs in Turkish and Greek and walk past the UN base. Welcome to Pila, a village where Greek and Turkish Cypriots live together in the buffer zone between the north and the south of the island, divided since 1974. As the south gears up for a presidential vote that could determine if Cyprus makes another push to reunify, Mehmet, who owns the village gym, says Pila could serve as an example. We looked after by the two Mukhtars and, you know, we kind of, that's it, you know, we're our own little city, our own little, town, our own little, little country, to be honest with you, in certain, certain respects, where we, you know, we look after ourselves, we look after our own people. Um, what is going on outside doesn't really affect the buffer zone. When the island was split, some 200,000 people were forced from their homes on both sides as the population separated along ethnic lines. Pila's 600 Turkish Cypriots are allowed to vote in the upcoming election, the Greek Cypriot South. Baris remembers when the left-wing candidate, Stavros Maras, visited the buffer zone. I just get out of the car and you know, shake hands with him, meet with him, and I was very happy because not even somebody came from north to my village to visit me as a Turkish Cypriot. And I saw that a Greek Cypriot candidate has come here and shake hands with me, introduced himself to me. And I get very happy for that. Although there are two community leaders in the village, it's under Greek Cypriot administration. But its mayor hopes that one day he will be replaced by a Turkish Cypriot. One day, I hope, some people, they uh, decide to put their names down and uh, uh, try to get a position in the council of Pila, even for my position. Meanwhile, Pila keeps up its status as a model of peaceful cohabitation. Some of its residents have known each other since well before the conflict. Uh, 